This is Silver Howl, standing proudly between Grasmere and Delta Water. It's not a historic fell, and no battles were won or lost on the slopes of Silver Howl. There's no monuments on its flanks, there's no rock formations at its summit. In fact, the summit cairn is distinctly ordinary. The very best thing about Silver Howe, and the reason why it's worth taking the time and trouble to climb to the top, is because the joy of it cannot be seen from down here. The visitors to Grasmere and Elterwater, who never ever normally go on the fells, would be shocked to discover the joys that await the person that takes the time and trouble to go up there. I know I was. There is a bit of interest on its slopes, such as Meg's Gill Waterfall. It's got some nice craggy rocks on the Grasmere side. And these eastern slopes are Juniper Central. Amateur gin makers delight. But if you want to see why this fell is special, then you really do have to go to the top. There are a number of routes up, two from Grasmere Village, one from Elter Water Common, a steep route from Chapel Style, and a ridge route from Great Langdale. There's also a super route starting from High Close Youth Hostel, and that's the one I'm taking today. I'll be heading up over Hunting Style Crag and along the ridge that divides Grasmere from Elter Water. There's a short scramble up the fell and a pleasant quarter of a mile fell top stroll to the cairn. Wainwright called this route delightful, and he was spot on. It's a nice undulating ridge, with the occasional boggy bit thrown in for good measure. That's Dow Bank. It's a superb viewpoint and makes an interesting addition to the walk, with stunning views of Rydal Water and Grasmere Lake and Village. And just on the Grasmere side of Dell Bank is another item of interest. So the Lake District Fells are adorned with wonderful little buildings and old quarry workings and just Remnants of a bygone era, really. This is like a little shepherd's hut, um, but it's very well made. The person that made this certainly knew what they were doing. Look at the thickness of that wall. It's, um, it's a lovely bit of stonework, actually. I think many a modern day builder would be proud to call that their work. Possibly built by a shepherd, there really did have to be a jack of all trades. Nice scrambly bit coming up. It's my favourite bit actually. Been a fair bit of erosion here over the last two or three years though. getting a bit warm so there will be a short interlude while I take my fleece off I 
That's better. This isn't the summit cairn. Just after that steep bit. The summit's some way off still, up there. But if you didn't want to go any further, the views you've got from here are absolutely stunning. You've got Grasmere and Rydal there. Village of Grasmere over there. The mountains of Fairfield Horseshoe. It once fell pike, a little bit of snow on it there. So it's it, it's a wonderful scene here. We've also got Windermere in the distance there. Looking at absolutely stunning. And uh, Elta Water there. I'll just pan that round a bit. There we go. Lovely view of Elta Water. On we go. Cracking views to the right. But the best is yet to come. This is a summit can, as I said before, not terribly impressive. You know, there's all the all the people down below. Car park's full. Beautiful day, and it's a weekend. And yet you get up here, and apart from a young couple over there sitting having a cup of coffee, there's nobody here. There have been people here because there were people coming and going as they came up, and there's a group just over yonder on the way up, but um, not exactly busy is it? It's not exactly Piccadilly Circus. It's lovely though. Hello. Hello there. Yeah. Beautiful day isn't it? It's is wonderful, isn't it? Absolutely wonderful. Glorious. Oh the views. Yeah, stunning. Fantastic. The views are just stunning. Absolutely beautiful day. We've got Windermere, Luffred Tarn, Luffred Summit, Rydal, Grasmere, Wandsfell. Just over there with the snow on as well we've got the Fairfield Horseshoe and the beautiful village of Grasmere and the church. What an absolutely beautiful day. That's exactly what I was going to say. Mind you, he's not wrong, is he? And the real beauty is that the views aren't confined to the east and the south. They truly are 360 degrees. Pike of Lisco, Crinkle Crags and Bowfell, we're in the last of the winter snow. Get super view right across the central fells, Sergeant Man and Old Scarf. We've even got a little glimpse of Blancatra in the far distance. Wonderful view of Fairfield. All in all, maximum rewards for very little effort. And on a day like this, I kind of feel sorry for the people down in Grasmere and Elterwater who never set foot on the fells. They'll never see these views.